Hi, just today I was reading the This Week in GNOME blog post and I discovered that this new application of GNOME had launched. It's a third party application, but you know, it's already available on the flat app. So if you're interested, you can get it from there. And I think that we don't talk about, about the fact that we can run GNOME application in KDE and KDE application in GNOME without any issue really. And even though this is presented on GNOME's blog post about the uh, application to manage money for GNOME, this doesn't mean at all that we cannot use it in KDE Plasma either. And even though, yes, I do have a t-shirt with, you know, the KDE log on it, I mean, why shouldn't I try it out? So I've seen how it works. It's actually rather simple. Let me just do a, a example account and everything really revolves around the concept of a transaction. And these are the data that we do have about the transaction. It has an ID of increasing, um, which is increasing for each transaction, although we can set our own 16, or maybe we can, I thought we, we can not <laughs> set an ID. We can set the date that this happened, the description, a type, which is either income or expense. And we can choose whether we want this to be a one-time uh, transaction, either a one-time uh, income or uh, expense, or if we want to repeat it either daily, weekly, monthly, and so on. Now, this is currently very simple. As an example, you do not have the possibility to set a repeated interval that is something that is is not daily or weekly. As an example, something very common that I see is bi-weekly. So that is, I guess, something that we will see in the future. Keep in mind that this is, as far as I know, the very first public release of this application. So the fact that it is rather simple is completely expected and not an issue uh, to me whatsoever. So le let me actually do some money like this and we do have this. So we can export and import as a CSV. And if we look into the preferences, we are also able to uh, change the currency symbol. As an example, I do prefer to use euros like this and euros, I do prefer them on the right. You do have to restart the application. Apparently I just discovered but this for the new um, currency symbol to actually apply. I, I kept getting the old one, but I mean, what else? It's really that simple currently. And uh, again, that, that is not the issue, that is the starting point. What I would like to see personally, I'm just making an uh, example uh, expense just to give you an idea of how that looks like. You do get a running total and income and expenses. What I would expect is uh, now that you do have the interface to actually set a transaction inside and outside of the account, for it to have an actual ability to elaborate those information to convey you even more information about them. Something that I usually see is the ability to show graphs as an example, like how much money was uh, spent and earned uh, for each month. Again, as an example, another option would be to add categories for each transaction to be able to see how much money is spent on each category and also see a graph uh, of uh, usually when that category is spent during the different times of the month, these kind of things. I think this is a really good starting point. It is not quite something that like I could start using to manage my personal finances. I do have a Excel actually uh, Google sheet uh, form for that. But if this keeps on developing like it's currently doing, then I will switch to it immediately because it actually looks good. It is very simple to use. I like it. The second one is that we actually get a new, uh, again, for this week, uh, version of Endeavor, which is version 43. I am using the version from FlatUp again, which you can see is version 43. Now, there is not, as far as so, a significant change log outside of some UI improvements and such. However, I had never used Endeavor and Endeavor before and the third let's redeem that <laughs> let's try it out and if this all revolves revolves around the concept of a transaction here everything revolves obviously around the concept of a task so let's add one and we do have a couple of uh, ways to customize this now obviously we can drag and drop it around to uh, reorder our to do's we can set if it's uh, we, we cannot do that the application crashes <laughs> oops <laughs> it might be actually that uh, that function require I don't know I don't know why it crashed I, I 
should probably check. We can select a due date. We do have shortcuts for today, tomorrow, which is nice. And then we do have a way to sort, uh, actually filter the to do's depending on what uh, will uh, happen like in the next seven days, which is rather uh, useful. Now, again, this is super simple and uh, things that I would like to see for this to become my main to do application, which it totally could become, to be clear, is stuff like being able to customize the fact that next seven days for me personally, I do prefer having the next day because I do actually have lots of tasks and it would be used the next day, not, not today, like tomorrow. I usually use a tomorrow uh, view, which is, in my opinion, particularly uh, useful. In fact, I would like to end this video with a suggestion. And that is, uh, if you do need an application that manages to do and uh, you do need for it to be very powerful, I would suggest that you give a look to tasks.org. We can see it here. This is an open source. Obviously, I will only recommend you open source alternatives uh, application that is meant for Android to do to do tasks and reminder and actually I've had I've, I've never seen an application even for desktop that works this well so I really suggest you that you give it a look and it basically supports everything like everything I, I use it for everything uh, you can filter the task however you want and you can actually add custom rules in whatever way and then you can add widgets to the home screen uh, depend using those filters it's extremely extremely uh, powerful and customizable 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 Oops. so i would suggest that you give it a look that said this is it thanks everybody for following and uh, see you tomorrow with another video